Baba, just briefly give us what your definition of Ori is. Tell us what you, what, how do you de define Ori? Well, the word Ori uh, denotes head, but when you break down the word Ori, you can break it down into O and Re. Re in this case is like a verb, it's, it's, a, it's to seek. The word Re means to seek. So when you say Ori, you're saying, one who has the ability to see. From how can one make even further correlations through their spiritual practice, from what they know about their own or read through traditional perspective, but then also what one learns from astrology, numerology, and so on? I can just, I can give you personal experiences. Um, first of all, your, your Odu has at least 800 verses. So each mm -hmm. Odu has about 800 verses, meaning there are many, many, many verses that you don't know. There are many, many, Versus that other Baba Laos, you can have 20 Baba Laos in the room and they would not know, probably not know all the verses that go to that, that Odu. But what astrology and numerology does, it gives you insight to your blueprint. When it gives you insight to your blueprint, there will be things in your in your astrology chart, in your numerology chart, that you may be able to backdoor in your Odu. Case in point, when you get your astrological chart, we ask, Where's the place of birth? Where's the time of birth? You know, what city were you born? What state were you born? What time were you born? You know, what what was the what was the the date? Those things are fixed. Those things determine where the stars, the planets, and all the things that that is fixed. And so we take that in astrology and we take that in numerology, and we can actually understand the blueprint of that individual. And what is the blueprint of that individual? That is Akomo, that which is written and sealed. I say, I love you, Fa. I love you, Fa. It really speaks the universal language. And we know that numbers is our universal language. The stars are our universal language. We So we, we give thanks. So when we talk about Ori, and when we talk about astrology, when we talk about numerology, of course, we understand um, past, present, future, and karma. Yes. And in, in both of these instances, I want to focus more upon karma, right? So when we talk about karma, there's an Isheshe term, Osunwan, and this is what I got from you, which translates a scale that measures or weighs our actions of good and bad. Can you take us deeper into understanding uh, or, or in, how, in how we can understand karma through um, through Ifa or through the concept of Ori. This is a major debate is, is, is there, are there, is there karma in Isheshe? And you have these people saying, oh, there's no karma. Karma does not exist in Isheshe, but karma is not a, it's not a, uh, a Yoruba word and karma, do you believe that we come back as animals and all this other stuff? All of that is is a distraction because it is, at its core, karma just means action. And it is your action that determines what type of judgment you have. This is why in the Yoruba, in the Yoruba culture, there's a, there's a proverb that says, Oshunwon, Oshunwon re la ofishe adijo, adijo or idajo re. My Yoruba is not the best, so, but I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to say with the phrase, it says, Oshunwon, Oshunwon re la ofishe idajo re. And that means through your actions, judgment finds you. So it is our character that determines how we navigate through our contract. Because remember, we have a contract that an aspect of it is fixed. An aspect of it you can't change. You cannot change who your mother and your who your father is. You cannot change the time you were born. You cannot change the, the place you were born. You cannot change those things. But you, what you can do, you can expand and contract your blueprint based upon your actions, based upon your choices. And based upon your choices can determine how high you go. As the saying goes, your attitude determines your altitude. Gotcha. So um, in many ways also, we know that in what you're saying, even Orumala, the systems of the divination throughout Ifa, all of that, all of what it encompasses, it, it really is just the path 
for the highlight to bring us back to the path that we've already chosen. Uh, because without that, we won't have anything. <laughs> so that's the importance of, of Ori. And that's really why I wanted to go into a deeper view of Ori um, outside of the basic fundamental introduction for what it is. So in going even further, um, we know uh, many of us have had our astrological birth chart. So in making certain uh, correlations to how one, let's say if they've gone through their Shefa ceremony, Tefa ceremony, uh, whatever ceremony that they have gone through for, for so, some sort of elevation and they receive an OD, mm -hmm. how can we connect that to someone's own personal birth chart? Even if you know 20 verses of, of your old dude, there are, there are like 780 left out there. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to find tools that can assist you on your journey. Your Odu is very important because not only is it your contract, it has a name. And when you when it has it has not only does it have a name, it's 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 a sign. You can mark that sign, and that energy can come. You can invoke that name of your Odu, and that energy will come. Now, ast your astrological chart. What you gonna call? What you gonna say? Come, Chris's astrological chart. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm not here to say astrology and numerology is superior to, to Odu. That, that's from the con that's far from the contrary. I'm that's I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, there's much more information out there right now for you to use it as a tool to complement your Odu, because it's going to give you the same information. Uh, next, just in going forward and talking about how one can enhance their own spiritual work, particularly with one's own read. You have uh, something that you have put together that you call the Taji Ori. Can you explain that more to me and how, or to us, and how that actually helps one to be able to add more spiritual practice um, and more intent into their work? Okay, so I, uh, Itaji Ori, me. Itaji means to like stimulate, and to awaken. Ori is is consciousness, and Eni is for uh, Enion, which means human beings. So Itaji Ori means, means the awakening of human consciousness. And in the English, we, I, I call it uh, Christ Seed Report. And this particular report gives you the times when certain portals are opening and closing based upon your own divine blueprint. The best times to go to Ogun the best times to go to Yemoja, the best times to go to Oshun, the best times to go to your ancestors based upon the divine blueprint that you came here with. The Itaji Ori Ni uh, document is based upon your astrological and numerical blueprint. And understanding those blueprints, you understand which Orisha to go to based upon the portal or energy that's being activated at the time. <clears throat> so it can enhance it. You know when you know when to do something and when not to do something, based upon your own worry. 